Hello everyone guys welcome to Rasan Academy once again so guys uh, we are continuing the series of neem reaction and today we are going to do 57th neem reaction that is Staudinger reduction now this is a very important neem reaction and why are we doing this because we have uh, seen this reaction Staudinger reduction in many of your CSI and net gate and TIFR examinations right so this uh, reaction, the name reaction has been repeated and it's a very direct and a very simple reaction, right? So let's uh, talk about the mechanism and then we will be doing two of the examples from your CSI net exam, okay? So first of all, what is the Staudinger reduction? Now a simple molecule like your organic azide, okay? So let's say you are having an organic azide. That when reacting with phosphine, let's say we are talking about a simple phosphine like PR3 or PPH3, right? So that in the presence of water is going to reduce the molecule to an amine followed by a phosphine oxide is formed. This is the overall reaction. This is the overall reaction of Staudinger reduction. Now, what we are supposed to do, we are uh, we are supposed we are supposed to know the mechanism uh, because uh, that will also be uh, helpful in predicting products, right? So, phosphazo compounds from the reaction of tertiary phosphine like this one or any other phosphine with organic azide. This is your overall reaction. Very simple one. Let's start solve. Uh, let's start. Uh, learning this so let's say we have taken a simple azide and i am writing the azide the same rn3 molecule i am writing it in this way okay all right so this is how you write an azide now what is the phosphine going to do whether it is pph3 or any other simple phosphine tertiary phosphine it is going to attack on the terminal nitrogen so that the bond opens up like this Okay, the phosphine phosphorus gets a positive charge, negative charge on the azide nitrogen like this. Now this azide nitrogen is going to attack over the phosphine and you are basically going to get roughly a four-membered intermediate in this way. Okay, a four-membered intermediate in this way and there is going to be plus minus charge over here on the whole complex and this is going to be unstable. The four-membered ring forms but it is unstable and it breaks down in such a way that you get or that you eliminate a stable nitrogen molecule from here. Along with that you get Rn double bond Pr3. Okay, so this is what you get. Yes, phosphorus can expand its octet. It can form five bonds and that is why it is uh, able to give this aminophosphine uh, compound, right? Yes, now further, now water is going to attack on this molecule. Now where is the water supposed to attack? Definitely phosphorus, not over nitrogen. So the bond falls over nitrogen and what are you supposed to do when OH attacks over the phosphorus, you can directly write pOH bond and you can directly give a proton to the NH because that is how the polarity is going. Now, oxygen hydrogen bond falls up like this on the phosphine. One more bo bond eliminates to give you the amine like this as well as a phosphine oxide in this manner. So this is what you get by the Staudinger reduction of a simple organic azide in the presence of a tertiary phosphine and uh, later treated by water. So you get the amine and you get the phosphine oxide and we get a lot of questions in which we see that there is a big role of amine over there. So let's see them one by one. Alright guys. The first question that we have seen from June 2016 is, this is your uh, through your CSI net exam question paper, June 2016, right? So the question is asking you, question number one, the major product formed in the following reaction is, now here you see you have an organic azide. Okay. In the same molecule you have an aldehyde. Uh, yeah. And a 
alkene now this is not the alpha beta unsaturated alkene or the ester you have a isolated ester you have a isolated aldehyde now the first step is given phosphine and when it is you know sometimes it is given phosphine sometimes it's given phosphine water but definitely if you are to react this molecule with phosphine you have to assume there is water so that you can get the complete reduction to amine right you have to assume that sometimes like over here so yes second step is NaBH3C and sodium cyanoborohydride now the cyanoborohydride is popular for doing amine reduction specifically the amine reduction at pH around 5 to 6 okay so what are we doing basically what is an amine your carbonyl when react when it reacts with an amine uh, with uh, removable uh, removable protons that is going to form amine like this and this reagent is popular for the amine reduction in this way all right nr minus and now this minus is going to take away a proton from the aqueous workup not from the hydride definitely so this is what you have from amine to amine this is what you get from the sodium cyanoborohydride specific chemoselective reagent for amine reduction now let's see what is the first step now guys since you have already understood the Staudinger reduction now what you can do is you can directly imagine from here you don't have to write the whole mechanism let's say I'm writing the azide in this manner what will happen the phosphine is going to attack over nitrogen like this it's going to attack back it's going to form a four membered intermediate right and after that there will be water and there will be complete reduction to give you the amine let me just write the product of the first step directly because you don't have to do this again you have already understood the reduction like this okay and where goes the phosphine phosphine is going to be eliminated as a phosphine oxide as you have already seen right Chalo. so basically now the, there could be an intramolecular attack of the amine on a more electrophilic carbon who is a more electrophilic carbon definitely the aldehyde carbonyl as compared to the ester ester is not uh, electrophilic as compared to the carbonyl right so you can count from here it's going to form and this is what happens whenever you are reacting an aldehyde or a ketone with rnh2 with two removable protons that is going to give you this kind of a imine this is your imine which forms now when the reaction happens intramolecularly you just have to check how many member ring it is forming so one two three four five six seven it's it's forming a seven member ring so where do you have a seven member ring not in b not in d it's in A and option number C. You are having a seven membered ring. But you also have to make sure this part of the molecule remains as it is. Okay, there is no uh, role of this part of the molecule. So the double bond is not going to be produced. And you are not forming a five membered ring over here as well. That's wrong. Okay, so easily solved question. Now, what else do you have? It will be a very simple molecule. That is, if this is the carbon you are holding on over here first of all you are going to get the imenium ion like this first of all you are going to get the imenium ion like this after the formation of a seven membered ring the seven membered ring the imenium ion the hydride will be transferred on to this carbon bond opens up you finally get the amine and also be careful sodium cyanoborohydride is a chemoselective reducing agent only there to reduce the imine bond it is not going to touch the double bond at all so this option is wrong okay so a is your correct answer very simple first step Staudinger reduction second step chemoselective reduction moving onwards to question number two now we had already done this before on this platform but let's repeat this in this context major product formed in the following reaction sequences so here what you are doing is this is asked in CSI net 
2015 December. We will be having more uh, videos, more questions on this. There was also a question in TIFR, which uh, you will be able to see in the upcoming videos, right? So, first thing first, what you are doing is metachloropurbenzoic acid is going to cause the epoxidation on the same side basically where there is the OH present so this is how the molecule looks like okay and in the next step there is the azide which is doing the SN2 attack now this is a simple SN2 attack taking place but where that is what we have to check and we have also done this several times before that whenever you draw a cyclo hexane epoxide let's say the tertiary butyl is on this carbon it is below all right and the hydroxide is on this carbon it is below similarly the epoxide is also below like this okay now the azide is going to attack in such a way that you get the diaxial product all right so you have the diaxial product the azide above the OH below something like this this is what you are going to get uh, in the second step of the reaction so you have got an organic azide now guys the organic azide let's take this into the next slide over here the organic azide in the presence of a phosphine whatever phosphine PPH3 is given in the presence of a phosphine like this you are first of all going to form this molecule PPH3 OH now here water is also not mentioned here water is not mentioned but another solvent is mentioned so either in this question it's very clear that water is not a solvent you are having acetonitrile as a solvent but in the previous question right over here it was not clear okay so that is why we took water and we did the complete hydrolysis of the amine uh, of the azide to your amine like this however we don't repeat the same thing in this reaction why because some other solvent is present other than water so what we do is what we do is rather than having a water molecule we don't have a water molecule so internal attack of this oxygen on phosphine could take place and then you are going to get NH single bond PPH3 oxygen like this you're going to get a five membered ring over here the five membered ring is going to break down in such a manner so that okay i hope that you can understand so that you get the azyridine ring on the top all right and you get the removal of the phosphine oxide like this so a xyridine ring which forms is on the top and if you want to see it like this it is very very simple to draw there is your OH then there is going to be your NH right over here it is going to be above why is it above why is the stereochemistry the way it is because you can uh, see this throughout the molecule first of all due to hydrogen bonding Yeah, right. Due to hydrogen bonding, the epoxidation happens on the same side as there is the allylic alcohol. Now, this is a stereoselective reaction. The azide attacks on such a position that it gives you a diaxial compound. So that's why this OH goes below and the azide comes above. Now, after the reduction, the azide after the reduction through the formation of a five membered ring over here, you are going to get the intramolecular. Uh, uh, cleavage in such a way that azide attacks on this particular carbon from the top and the phosphine oxide is going to break apart from here okay so this is also a Staudinger reduction only but you don't get complete reduction because you don't have external water that's why internal oxygen nucleophile attacks like this so your azide is going to be on the top so your answer should be option number B from here okay 
now this is your second step is going to be or sorry the third step is going to be Staudinger reduction and this is a very nice question more questions like this are coming up and what you have to do is just stay tuned and see all the previous name reactions video as well they are going to be really helpful in the upcoming examinations like TIFR like uh, CSI and NET, Kate, etc so also guys if you have uh, just started following the channel please check out all the uh, playlist also if you want detailed courses for organic inorganic then please visit an academy plus profile the link is there in the description below okay so if you want you can just check out my profile and see all the courses that i have completed okay see all the courses that i have done on an academy but also if you want to join an academy plus you can use the code jagriti s for a 10 percent discount on the Unacademy Plus subscription. Alright, so I will see you in another such video. Bye then.